Praise be to your holy name, Father, as I come to you to speak these words that you are giving me to speak. And I'm here only to do your holy will. I pray your holiness over this video. I pray that hearts will be touched and lives will be changed. Father, that you will pour your love and your your kindness out on people before these great and terrible days happen. I'm pleading the blood in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Well, I'm coming to you today and uh, I'm going to give you a brief, brief statement. I think I've had told people this that I believe in keeping the Sabbath day holy. Um, and you know, yes, I agree not only with Elizabeth, but others about um, Sunday being a pagan day. Um, and Constantine changed it. I have videos back there on it, so go look. I don't keep Easter because Yeshua plainly told me, for me, for me, it would be an abomination to keep Easter, for it's a pagan day that Yeshua did not die on Easter, that he died on the Passover, and that's why I must keep it. I don't celebrate Christmas, even though my husband does. That's fine. You know, that that's him. I don't. In fact, I celebrate Hanukkah. Um, so, um, you know, sometimes people say things out of hate and anger and don't know what they're talking about. They really don't. But that, that's all right. You know, that's between them and God. God be their judge, not me. But anyway, as I was saying on the, uh, the other video about the blood, and when we come before judgment, he will look through the books of what we did and 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 everywhere that we have repented and we turned it over to Yeshua, we are covered in his blood. But when we step out of bounds and go back into that mud, back into that trash and start doing it again, and we do not repent, then God will look over there and go, uh-oh, this is not covered in the blood. You are held accountable because you did not repent. Why didn't you repent? You knew to repent over here. Why didn't you repent there? And you will be held accountable. You can't go back into sin. And we all must repent daily, daily. I want to get that across. It's very important. Because sin is sin. You can put it in a bottle and try to say it's candy. But sin is sin and it will get you put in hell. It really will. I have to be very honest and very straightforward in my beliefs. And when I'm talking to you, you have to repent. Was the tornado's judgment? You know what? Yes, they probably were partly judgment and partly tornado alley because this is where the storms come. But he uses the things of the natural courses of, of this earth. But uh, what about Christ's church over in New Zealand? God's judgment on them. God's judgment on Japan. You know, you can't call one one and the other not. You know, just because you happen to be there. Okay, I'm going to go over here to Romans. And I think Paul is very plain on sins and things. But I'm going to go to the second chapter first, starting with the first verse. He says, Some of you accuse others of doing wrong. But is there no excuse for what you do? When you judge others, you condemn yourself because you are guilty of doing the very same thing. 
We know that God is right and judge. Everyone who becomes behaves in this way. We know that God is right to judge everyone who behaves in this way. Everyone. Do you really think God won't punish you when you behave exactly like the people you accuse? You surely don't think much of God, wonderful goodness of His presence and willingness to put up with you. Don't you know that the reason God is good to you is because He wants you to turn to Him? But you are stubborn and refuse to turn to God, so you are making things even worse for yourself on that day when He will show how angry He is and will judge the world with fairness. God will reward each of us for what we have done. He will give eternal life to everyone who has patiently done what is good in the hope of receiving gl glory honor and life that has lasted forever but he will show anger and furiousness he can be with every selfish person who rejects the truth and wants to do evil all <clears throat> who are wicked will be punished with terrible and suffering with trouble and suffering it doesn't matter if they are Jew or Gentile but you do but all who do right will be rewarded with glory honor patience whether they are Jew or Gentile God don't have favoritism these people who don't know about God's law will still be punished for what they do wrong and the law will be used to judge everyone who knows what it is says God accepts those who obey the law but not those who simply hear it some people naturally obey the law commandment even though they don't have the law this proves that the conscious conscience is like a law written in the heart of man and it will be shown whether we are forgiven our conditions whether God appoints Jesus Christ to judge everyone's secret thoughts judge everyone's secret thoughts just as he major messengers say okay you know sin is sin in the Ten Commandments we are to honor our father and mother we are not to kill, we are not to lie, we are not to bear false witness, we are not to covet. Um, they are the basic laws that God laid out from the beginning. They are not revoked, they are not taken away from, they are not nailed to the cross. They are written in your heart. People may not want to believe that, but it's true. What has been nailed to the cross is that condition of sin and a way that we can be covered by His blood. But we can't stay at sin and expect to be covered by the blood. Righteousness and sinfulness cannot reign in the same house. If you hate, it is the same as you murder somebody, kill them, dead, and you are held accountable for murder. Yeshua said that, and is he a liar? And when he said to love your enemies and judge not, is he a liar? You know what makes me mad? When you walk on the precious blood of Yeshua, when you say you love Him, you serve Him, and you do all this stuff, but yet you judge other people, you're walking on my beloved Yeshua's blood. You're taking it as none and void, and that makes me angry. You better believe it does. I love my Yeshua. I love Him, and I worship Him daily. I stand for Him and Him only. That's why I love you. 
Elizabeth. I love you. And am I angry? I am angry at Satan because he's ripping your soul away from you. You are standing in judgment for your condemnation that you do on other people. When you turn your back on other people that are trying to reach out to you and say, We love you, or I know I love you. I don't know about the others. I can't speak for them. But I know I love you with a pure love of Yeshua. This is what he told me to do. He's told you to do the same thing, but you refuse. You want to call me a reptobate mind? Maybe you need to go look in the mirror. Really look in the mirror. And see what you're becoming because of your hate and anger. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to lose out on that gift of being the bride. Do you not understand? And yes, I know you will come up against me if, if you are not convicted. But sin is sin. You will go to hell for sinning, period. You can't say, I am a prophet and still it's sin. I am a prophet. I was called when I was seven years old. Yeshua himself said and stood by my left hand side and said, Barbara, my name plainly, Barbara, you are called to be my last day prophet. What is that last day prophet? You are to love everyone. You are to walk in righteousness and holiness. You are to live by the laws and do as he tells you to do. He tells me not to judge other people. And this word is coming from him because he loves you, Elizabeth. And he wants you to turn. He wants you to turn to him for forgiveness. For sin is sin. I don't care whether it is, what it is. Sin is sin. And it will get you put into hell far. I am not your judge. God is your judge. And he's speaking this forth today. Sin is sin. Not only to you, but everybody. If you're out there and you're sinning, you are in danger of hell far. And I'm not telling you right now, but there will be one day that just going to a Sabbath, uh, going to a Sunday day uh, church will be part of the Antichrist. Whether you want to believe it or not, it will happen. It will be there. But I don't judge you because God will take care of your heart and he will move you out of what you need to be moved out of. But this message is to all that are sinning. If you're out there and you gave your heart to Yeshua and you've turned back and you're committing adultery, you're doing all of these things that you once did and thinking you're covered by the blood, you're not. Once you come out of sin, you've got to stay out of sin. It's a war within yourself to stay out of sin and to quit sinning and to become holy because judgment is coming upon this earth. Do you not know that the blood red moon was over there overseas for a reason? Every time something has happened bad over in Israel and Jerusalem, the blood red moon has shown. I'm t warning you all, especially over there, there's great disaster coming and judgment coming over that land. That blood red moon was just a warning. Just a warning. Judgment is already begin. And if you are sinning, stop sinning. Because judgment is coming to Europe and Africa and all of those parts in a mighty, mighty, mighty way. The warning has been set. Forgive and get the love of Yeshua in your heart or you will not be forgiven. That's, that's his words, not mine. I am not to judge because I can't get in your heart, but he can.